Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to Beam NG Drive. In today's episode, we're going to be checking out a brand spanking new car mod for the game that goes by the name of the Raven R20, which I believe uh, is made by the same guy who made the Raven R60. I mean, obviously, that makes sense. Anyway, that car was a lot of fun, a little rough around the edges, but a lot of fun to drive. And uh, this is an improvement on that. And I got to say, it's a lot of fun to drive and very, very fast as well as we bomb this hill and go straight <laughs> straight into the sidewalk <laughs> and uh, ultimately into the side of a building. But you know, honestly, it's uh, it's holding up pretty well, all things considered. I think the, the V6 fell out of this thing. I think this is the V6 version. It's got to be. Uh, there's three versions that come with this mod. Initially, the uh, inline four, the V6, and like a, a track day version, but there's a but to this mod, guys. I've never had to do this before. It's kind of strange for me, but there's actually DLC for this mod. There's two versions of this car that do not come with the uh, the, the main mod. Uh, that would be the Rally Edition and the Pro Race Edition, which I guess is just a faster version of the track day. Now, I know that's going to rub a lot of you the wrong way, and honestly, it kind of rubbed me uh, the wrong the wrong way as well. Paid mods uh, for BMG Drive, that's, that's very shady. Not, not shady. It's just very... Uh, Concerning, I guess, because the BMG community is that's kind of frowned upon uh, to have paid mods. But uh, I, I know why he did it. It's just so it's you know an incentive, I guess, for for you to for to support him directly, I guess. And you know, I can I can totally understand that. I don't know if I would have made like paid mods for this. Uh, maybe just like add a Patreon link or like a PayPal link at the bottom. I'm sure some people will click that. But that's the reality of it, guys. I'm just telling you. How it is. I'm not going to tell you how to think about it. If you should hate or you should be on board with it, I, I'm not going to tell you that. I'm just going to show you what you can actually get if you do pay the one or two dollars. I I don't know. It's not a lot of money. It's like one or two bucks uh, for these extra versions. So with that out of the way, I guess we should try one of them, shall we? So you know what? I kind of want to try the pro race. Actually, no. I should probably try the race version just to see how they compare. This is the fastest one you can get uh, with the free version of the car and there's also something else i want to show you about this mod it's not like the actual car is awesome it drives really cool but honestly that's not even the coolest part of this mod this one's pretty quick as well i don't know if it's actually faster oh then the v6 we're gonna crash into the covet oh no uh but yeah the actual car is awesome don't get me wrong but that's actually not the coolest part of this mod if we actually go into the center dash here uh this little screen right here is fully interactable and customizable so you can see uh, we're kind of switching between displays here now if we go all the way over we can actually switch what we're seeing on the screen so if we want the uh if we want the d navigation over there we can even zoom out uh, on the navigation like full gta style and i think we have some uh, g-force uh indicators over here but what if we want uh, some data some data on like the brake, the oil pressure, the water degrees, everything. We can have that there as well. I think that's so cool just to have like a working interactable like video dashboard uh, on the where the speedometer goes. That's so freaking awesome to me. Oh, man, we're cruising right now. Ugh, crash into the back of another car. Beautiful. I, I don't know how much it says. Um, this mod is not based on any real vehicle, so it's a completely original mod. I can see where it might have some influences, uh, and it says it's not a Miata <laughs> in the description of the mod. I don't know. If you see any sort of vehicle in this car, any, any influence anywhere, let me know down below in the comments. I'd like to see uh, what you guys think that might have influenced this thing, or is it truly uh, just a, a, a completely original car? I don't know. I think the back looks familiar, but I don't know what it looks like. All right, let's get some real jumps in here, baby. Come on. Punch it. Yes. Ooh, beautiful. Another one. Woo. Over the car. Over the Pesma, I think that was. It's actually handling this pretty well. Oh, until we flip over. <laughs> it, all, it was all going so well until we flipped over and wrecked. All right, it's time. We're going to try out the, uh, the Race Pro 407 horsepower. So a solid extra 100 horsepower here. With a car this small, this should be just a bit ridiculous. <laughs> and it's like a wide body, too. Well, let's see how fast we can get this thing going. We have a special... Yeah, it has a, I guess um, the DLC cars have like a special kind of uh, skin to them. Oh, no. 
traffic screwed me on that one. Okay, I might have to go to the highway to test this one's top speed because it definitely feels faster. That's for sure. Already at 100 miles an hour. Yeah, skim by you. 120. 30. There we go. Get a lot of air there. Oh. <laughs> and come crashing down. We really uh, effed ourselves up there. Okay, let's get onto the highway and see how fast uh, we can actually go. We might have to take it to the track. It was built for the track, after all. Uh, so we might have to take it there as well. But I just want to do it just straight up. Uh, drag race here and just see how fast we can actually get this thing going. I bet it'll go about 150. That's what I'm guessing. By the way, I gotta say the interior here looks pretty. I mean, that cloth texture just looks so comfy. I don't know why. It just looks so good. Anyway, here we go. Let's see how fast we can get this bad boy going. 120 easy. 30, 40. We might actually go past. Yeah, we're gonna go past 150. 160. We're still cruising. 170. You think we can pass 200 in this thing? No, no, no. It looks like we're... Oh, what did I just run into? Wait, 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 wait. What did I just crash into? <laughs> what? I don't know. What, I don't know what we just crashed into, but it completely wrecked us. Big time, man. We are 110% dead. But uh, yeah, I think it topped out. I think we did get to the uh, the top speed there, which is about 176-ish uh, miles an hour, which is pretty darn quick, uh, if you ask me. So let's uh, let's go over here to the the track. Where's the where's the starting line? There it is. We'll take a lap around uh, the uh, the West Coast USA Raceway. I don't know what it's called. It probably has an actual name, but I've never bothered to, <laughs> to look into it. So let's see. Uh, how we do this is what this is what it was made for so let's see what we can do yeah there's people on the road naturally there always is but you know I, I like playing this game with traffic spawn it just feels more uh lived in and like anything could happen you know like I could almost get my bumper taken off whoa why is there lights is that a mod is that me I don't know I'm, I'm being fa I'm being followed by uh, alien UFOs Apparently, okay, 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 we're good. I especially I love the tires on this thing, man. I don't know. I have a thing for like white, like bright white tire rims like that. I don't know. I just think they're cool. Uh, anyway, this thing's pretty much destroying the track like I thought it would when I can control it. And it does warn you against that in the in the uh, description. It says it's a little hard to control, but rewarding uh, once you get the hang of it. Or maybe it was talking about the rally edition. I don't know, but I feel the same way. Uh, with this one, but I know, I know the fact that this is DLC is going to bother a lot of people. But, uh, I guess it's the way it is, man. Whoa! Ghost car killed me again! The UFO lights killed me. What is, what is that? It's like an, it's an actual entity, like, following me around. Now I'm stuck to it. Very strange. Can I get away? Thank you. Can you not kill me again, invisible ghost car? <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. Anyway, we got a straightaway here. 100. 120. There we go. There we go. 160. And boom. Oh, man. We like... Oh, we broke his axle, that's for sure. Oh, we got some We got some space distortion here. Yeah. But I think, honestly, uh, the uh, the roll cage saved me there for sure. I mean, probably not, if we're being honest, but, you know, it helped to keep the car together, I guess. Anyway, let's go over to... Where is it? I always lose this. Where is it? I think it's, it's down here. The off-road track. Yeah, here it is here. So we have the uh, the rally edition, or the off-road edition. I don't know what it would be better to call it, but we do have, like, an off-road centered version of this car. Uh, so we're going to give it a shot. The gravi gravel rally. That's kind of... That was hard for me to say. It's really early in the morning, guys. My voice is... My speech pattern is a little uh, messed up. Whoa, I like the paint on this. So yeah, I guess it's probably just the uh, the tires that make this thing off-road, but let's see. Let's see how it does. I'm always down to take any car off-road this game, even when it probably shouldn't be there. But honestly, it's doing pretty freaking good right now. Not bad. Ooh, we almost lost it there, but we're okay. We're definitely okay. All right, let's skip around you. There we go. Oh, I don't know how I didn't crash into anybody right there, but we didn't. Okay. Man, I love that dash so much. That's so cool. 
I don't know why that's so cool to me, but just the fact that you can like interact with it and uh, change it around if you want to is just so cool to me. All right, we got a big jump coming up. Please don't block my way, traffic. I gotta nail this. There it is, with a bunch of wrecked cars underneath me. What the heck happened there? I don't know, but we freaking nailed that jump. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, this thing pretty much slays. Uh, Off-road, that's for sure. Okay, okay. Nicely done, nicely done. We wrecked it a little bit, but besides that, uh, we're pretty much okay. All right, so this is the i4, which is, I guess, the, the stock model here. And it, honestly, it's still pretty zippy. Still pretty fun to drive. It's not going to be any speed demon or anything, but it gets up there uh, for sure. And it's it's banana colored, so, you know, that's a... <laughs> <laughs> That's a plus, right? Uh, uh, apparently, I just have an out for H series cars today. I just have to smash it every single one uh, I run into. How about how about we crash into this one? Here we go, and boom! <laughs> Beautiful. Anyway, I think it's time we take the Raven R20 to the Car Jump Arena and see how far it can fly. All right, first we got the i4 here, the uh, lowest on the uh, the tier list for this thing, but I still think it's gonna go pretty far, as long as we don't pop the engine right before <laughs> right before takeoff here. There we go, 150, 170 almost. Wow. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go pretty far here, uh, and do a face plant right around the 390 mark, and we're gonna stick the landing as well, and go straight into the. Oh no, we're gonna miss. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Just, we kind of skimmed the pool. I think the bumper made it in, so I guess uh, that's still pretty good, but the banana mobile did pretty darn good. That went pretty freaking far. That makes me excited uh, for what these other ones, what kind of numbers these ones are going to pull. Okay, so we're going to go straight along to the V6 here. Uh, 297 horsepower. So let's see how far it can go. Woo! Okay, yeah, this one's uh, a little quicker. I think we're going to get up to about maybe 180 here. We play our cards right. Maybe, come on. Don't tell me you're gonna go slower. Just a little bit slower, but it looks like we're actually gonna go farther. There we go, past the 400 mark. Beautiful, and we're gonna we're gonna skim the pool again. <laughs> I guess it just wasn't uh, lined up good enough, but you know, we're still in one piece mostly. All right, so these. All three of these pretty much have the same horsepower. So we're just going to go all right along to the Race Pro uh, here and see how far. I imagine this one's probably going to go closer to 500. Uh, but I don't know. Let's try it out. Maybe we can get this thing to 200 miles an hour finally. I know it wants to. It just didn't have the, uh, the momentum. So let's see. 150, 60, 70, 7. Oh, it topped out again at 177. Dang it. But it looks like we're going to get pretty close to 500. Yeah, like right around. Like maybe 497. And we're going to land in the pool. So beautiful, man. The Raven R20. Uh, awesome mod. Awesome mod. Now, if you don't want to pay for uh, the uh, Rally Edition and this one, you totally don't have to. And I totally understand if you think it's complete BS that he's charging for like half or like two out of the five. Uh, versions of this car. I totally understand, uh, but it's completely optional. You don't have to get it, but it's there. Uh, so yeah, think of that what you will, but the rest of the mod is completely awesome. Uh, very, very, very awesome uh, kind of technology we have going on here with the uh, interactable dashboard. I think that's so cool. That's a, that's a step up, man. That's next level. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. See ya.